Salutations, my fellow dandies. It's me, Jack Dandy, and we're back in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, very late starting today. I do apologise. I, uh, I have a good excuse, though. I was at the hospital. Not for me. I was visiting someone. They're fine. Well, I mean, they're not fine. They're at the hospital, but they're not in dire straits or anything. So I was just here just to visit them to see a get well soon visit. Um, but yeah, that was why I was starting very, very late today, because I had dinner when I got back. Um, so we won't, we won't play for too late tonight. Maybe a couple of hours. Um, my character looks hungover. I, he, I, I'm upset because I was really looking forward to the island, uh, the new island uh, expansion, like add-on thing that came out is part of patch 6-2, I think, that came out this week. Uh, and I'm not allowed to do it because I haven't uh, I haven't finished Endwalker yet, so I'm I'm very sad, and it means we're going to have to carry on doing the uh, the post Stormblood patch. Thank you very much, Acting Hero. Yeah, okay, it's six point two. Um, yeah, it sucks. Uh, so um, no, I mean, it doesn't suck. It's just I was I, I I was looking and I was thinking, oh well, this isn't story content, so maybe maybe. Maybe it'll be something I can do. And they're like, no, you need to finish Endwalker. And it's like, oh. What? Are there, are there spoilers on the island? I don't know. Anyway, so it's something, it's something else to look forward to when we finally, finally get to Endwalker, I suppose. So uh, with that in mind, let's crack on with the post-Stormblood quests. So we finished... Well, the week before last, we finished Stormblood. And uh, we saved Alamigo. We defeated Xenos. And we found out that our boy Gosetsu is uh, still alive, on an island, with uh, with his with his good friend. Or and I I mean I assume at some point they might explain how he managed to shrug off like eight gunshot wounds, but I mean it's Gosetsu. Look at him. He well, boy's a tank. He probably just breathed out and they fell out. Um, but la yeah, last week we did the uh, we did Eureka, which was quite fun. So I've upgraded my. You can't, I mean, it doesn't hasn't changed the appearance yet, but I've I've upgraded my antique Mergulis Mergle. We'll go with Mergle. I assume it's a silent S. I upgraded my antique Mergle to a Mergle. I will do some more Eureka off stream. I probably one of those things I do try and do once a week for the weeklies uh, until I've leveled up my Merg my Mergle and. Uh, and a collapsing building, yes. Yeah, he did. He got crushed by an entire castle. and Well, he got shot several times, then crushed by an entire castle. And he kind of just shrugged it off. Uh, the only noticeable damage he had was that his shirt came off. That was it. Uh, Gosetsu's made, of, made, Gosetsu's made of, of, of firm stuff. You know, he's, like I said, he's a, he's a, he's a tank of a man. So, we're, we're, I'm sure at some point we'll catch up to him. Um... Super Saiyan. <laughs> oh. I mean, they... they... Oh, they're getting a moat for this one. I wonder why. Uh, they do have... Because there was that Gaius guy that we fought at the end of uh, Around Reborn who basically went Super Saiyan. So the concept does exist. Anyway, let's see what Lee wants. Come to see how we're getting on. Nod. We've made good progress since we took back Alamigo, but there's one big issue we still have to address. Leadership. The Domans had Lord Hien ready and willing to take the throne, but we've got no one like that here. Theodoric was our last ruler, and he wasn't called the Mad King for nothing. I try to remember who Theodoric is. I know that we've I, th I know they've mentioned him. I think I'm pretty sure he's dead. <sighs> Suffice it to say, our people have had their fill of kings, which means we need to find a new way forward. Like a like a president or a dictator. Ah, oh, just just a really nice dictator, just for a little bit, just for a little bit. Salutations, Lightning Shay. Thank you for the follow. I you found you on TikTok in a very very petty video, and I had to follow. Yes. I am, unfortunately, <laughs> for better or for worse, quite a petty person. I know exactly the video, but thank you. Yes, I noticed you followed the other day, uh, so much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. 
I'm less petty. Everyone and his uncle has an opinion. Actually, I don't know if that's true. I was going to say I'm less petty when playing Final Fantasy XIV, but I <laughs> I don't know if that's true. For the time being, we're just going to have to keep leaning on General Aldin and the Alliance for support and see if we can't find a solution together. Something tells me we're going to be hosting a lot of meetings in the near future. Well... I, I mean, Lys and Rauban are both from Alamigo, I think. So they're, they're, they're surely those are the two prime contenders. I don't know who else. I mean, I guess uh, what's his chops? But, and, but he died, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. That I can't remember his name. Uh, Mitchell. Yeah. Yeah. No. The guy who died. But I suppose what it takes. I'm ready to talk till my jaw aches. I suppose he would have been a good shot if he was alive, but he's not. So we'll stop talking about him. I mean, I, I, uh, I'm the only one talking about him. I will stop talking the about him. The reach is yours, Nago. Don't do anything I wouldn't. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm glad that Nago survived, though. I, I really expected her to die. Several times. It's at several different points. Ah. There you are. I've been searching all over for you. <sighs> they gave Arnvold a voice actor. I don't think he's had a voice before now. I still, I don't trust Arnvold. I every time he comes in, I mention that I don't trust him. The the guy from the Crystal Braves has kind of soured me to random, really strong warrior type showing up. Um, he's got a big X on his face. It just makes me worried. But he's been so nice. Which but just makes worry, me sus makes more back. suspicious of him. That said, this might not be the best place to talk. Will you join me? Not. I just feel like at any point he's going to betray us. And I'm going to be like, ha! I called it! But then if he doesn't betray us, I've just hated him for no reason. Which is fine. I'll get to the point. Might you be interested in a spot of adventure? Yeah! After all... We were adventurous before we were scions, were we not? Hang on, when did you become a scion? When did that happen? When did we agree on that? How... Do I not get a vote? This... No. No. When did... When did he After become a scion? This is it's quite an exclusive club. We're just letting anyone in. a bit of respite, don't you? And what better way to spend it than by returning to our roots? I mean, a cryo is fine. So, what say you? Shall we, we call on Alphino and go adventuring? We needed a Lalafal after Papalimo exploded. Who are you replacing? No one else has exploded. I guess Minfilia. <laughs> she did uh, explode. She exploded a tiny bit. I guess maybe he's replacing Minfilia. Uh, twist my arm, why don't you? Sorry, I, I'll be honest, Aaron Vold, I haven't been paying attention to what you've been saying because I've been suspicious. I've been upset about you apparently being a member of the Scions. What are we doing? We're going on an adventure. Did he say something about treasure? I wasn't paying attention. Right then, let's go and find Massa Lavilia. Actually, leave that to me. I want you fresh for our little adventure. Wait for us by the Ether, right? We'll be along shortly. See you there. Clearly, Tiny Gosetsu wanted a part of Arlenvald's elaborate plan to lure us into a um, secluded location and then jump us. I'm onto him. I'm onto him. And I'm going to allow myself to fall into his trap exactly because it's the best, it's the fastest way to expose him for the villain I know he is. I'm, I'm seriously trying to remember if they, when they mentioned that he joined the Scions. Well, maybe it was when he first arrived. Because he did show up with... He did show up with... Uh, Yishtola. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Maybe he'll grow on me. Maybe this is... Maybe this is where... This is the Arenvold arc where we get to learn that he's actually a cool dude. 
Greetings, Jack. It would seem we are to accompany Arenvold on some manner of escapade. Have you an idea what we've gotten ourselves into? Allow me to explain. I will be something of a history lesson, but I'll try to be brief. No snoring, if you please. Now, the events I would speak of occurred before the occupation, back when Alamigo was still a monarchy and Theodoric sat on the throne. Th I, I, I'm pretty sure it's not Theodoric, I'm pretty sure it's Throderic. Th whatever. A uniquely brutal despot, by all accounts. And he was. A king of ruin suffered no rivals, real or imagined, and his dispute with the monks of the fist ended with Ragar's reach being burned to the ground. Fortunately, most of Ragar's reach is made out of stone, so very little actually caught fire, and it's mostly fine, as you can see. In the latter years of his rule, he was seized by the unshakable belief that the unseen forces were coming to steal his crown, and so he ordered that every soul with a claim to the throne be executed, including his own family. A wealth of the poor sods he put to death became the property of the king, and it's said that these royal treasures were hoarded somewhere in the palace. Thus was born the legend of the Mad King's Trove. Ah, I believe I see the direction of our adventurers to take. I assume you have a mind to unearth this hidden bounty. You assume correctly. And would I also be correct in assuming that this legend is widely known? Others must surely have gone in search of your prize, tempting as it seems. Well, of course, we won't be the first to make the attempt. Following Alamigo's liberation, more than a few eager soldiers turned the palace upside down in hopes of claiming an easy fortune. But even after scouring every room from dawn till dusk, they uncovered not a single coin. Their, dust, their gold lust drained away as quick as it had come, and the legend of the Mad King's Trove remains simply that, a legend. But I see you have no intention of letting the story end there. What a self-respecting... What, what self-respecting adventurer would! Imagine! The three of us delving into a decades-old mystery? Tell me, the thought doesn't set your heart racing. Nod. Oh, a nod and a chest bump. That's how you know I'm excited. That's how you know the Warrior of Light's excited. That's how you know that he's like, Oh, yeah! You got me. I've learned the emote box. Did I just shrink in it off of Aronvold just then? That's the wrong one. That's not even the that's not even the emote that he did just then, I don't think. When did I when did I learn this? Did I just like space out mid conversation and thought, man, I should learn out a box. Okay, cool. I have a boxing emote now, that's cool. I can punch whoever I want. Ooh. I think. View manifest. Yeah, you can now see what's inside of coffers. I read that on the patch notes. Uh, necklace of casting, earrings of casting, bracelet of casting, ring of casting. Oh, I think. Dairu Miyaku. Those, uh, th I was going to spend money on these. Oh, well, uh, poetics on these. Oh, I get them for free. Neat. The news of Doma and Alamigo's liberation has kindled the flames of revolution in every corner of the Empire. I hear the Imperial Province of Dalmasca has already risen up in rebellion. Which means the Galleons must surely have their hands full. What better time than now to indulge in such a diversion? Tell us, Arnvold, have we any clues as to where we might begin our search? Well, judging by how the other treasures were not as fed, nosing about the palace isn't likely to get us anywhere. So, we probably need to uh, ask around. Would that be another way of saying no? Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really hope Arnvold isn't a bad guy, because I quite like that he's a moron. <laughs> I see. Well, in that case, I shall pay a visit to the Allied Archivists and request access to the records seized from the Imperials. The Guardians are meticulous about such things. They uncovered the trove during their occupation. The event is certain to have been recorded. In the meantime, the two of you can track down those who worked as palace servants and officials in the Theodoric's day. Given that they would have been at least 20, at least 20 at the time, you would look for people who have been seen 40 summers or more. Anything they can tell you about the king and his bloody deeds may prove useful, so be sure to listen well. And involved, pray try your luck in the fringes and the peaks, whilst Jack makes the rounds in the Alamegan quarter. Ah, and they're always thinking I was the party leader. Not that I mind, of course. Let's be about it, eh? We can meet afterwards at Gilbrad's Gate.
not. All right, adventure time, I guess. Uh, well, as soon as we, you know, <laughs> have any idea what we're actually doing. So I'm going out of Megan Quarter. And then I get a new coffer. Uh, you look like you've... This is incredibly kind of embarrassing when you go up to someone and go, Hey, you look like you're over 40. And they go, I'm 21. How dare you? In the palace? No, not me, lad. Sure you've heard stories of the Mad King. He used old public executions up on the divine audience. Is that a place or a group of people? Anyway... Anyone, and I mean anyone, suspected of conspiring against the crown was flung from the top of those steps. Suffice it to say that I stayed as far away from the palace as possible. That's an that's an interesting way of killing people. I mean, unless it didn't kill them, and it just it just hurt a lot, and it was really funny, just seeing them roll down like a massive step, massive staircase. Just, ah, oh, that'll teach you. You look old. You want to hear an old maid's stories, do you? Aye, well, most of what I know of the Mad King is common knowledge. We'd only seen his royal majesty when he de deigned to attend to the executions he'd ordered. And after a while, even watching his enemies die wasn't enough to coax him out of hiding. They say he started selling, uh, seeing assassins in every shadow, and wouldn't set foot outside the palace walls. I was offered, to, offered work there as a royal servant once, but the mere thought of it left me in a cold sweat. Oh. Okay. So what you've told me there is, you could have had useful information for me. You, you didn't. So, great. And just say no next time. I I served at the pleasure of King Theod Theodoric and lived to tell the tale. One of the palace guards I was. Truth be told, it was a dark chapter of my life and one I'd sooner forget. Hardly a night went by when we didn't hear blood curdling screams echoing from the inner chambers, which of course we were under orders to ignore. So it stands still as statues, try not to imagine what horrors were unfolding within. <sighs> if you're bent on finding out what happened in the palace, head down the street here and ask old Arnold. He was the King's Head Scribe. Ah. He was the Head Scribe. He used to write directly on the head. Theodoric was a strange man. He had a scribe for each body part. It's like in Memento. Just paranoia. Uh, yeah, I'm Arnold. What do you want with me? Hmm, you'll have me dredge up some uns uh, some decidedly unsavory memories. If Alamigo is to move forward, he must needs acknowledge the misdeeds of the past. Very well, I should tell you what I remember. I take it you know of Theodoric's paranoia and the public executions of his kinsmen. Those were terrible enough, but in his last days, the king's fevered mind settled upon an even grislier method of disposal, which only a chosen few were unfortunate enough to witness. His majesty ordered the court thermitages to unleash a vile curse upon the remaining members of the royal family, a magic which transformed them into fiends of hideous aspect. The resulting monstrosities were then cast into the darkness below the palace. Even now my sleep is troubled by nightmares. If others of Theodoric's blood were prone to share his madness, then perhaps it is a kindness that the monarchy ended with him. Cool. So we've got a palace dungeon full of uh, cursed zombies. Royal zombies, even. Like regular zombies, but they're wearing a crown or something. I unlocked flying. This is the fastest way between two points. Hey, thanks for the follow, Neo Next Dread. Much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Aaron Vault. Alpha no. Did you find out about the royal zombies too? Since we're all here, why don't we share what we've learned? Allow me to begin, then. As promised, I scoured the Imperial records for any mention of the fantastic treasures and found precisely none. It is just possible, I suppose, that the corrupt official deliberately hid the fact of the Tro's discovery, hoping to enrich himself. But I find it rather unlikely that so valuable a find would stay secret for, for long. I conclude that that prize either does not exist or that the Imperials somehow overlooked it. 
Silence Agent Stratus, Zombie Brand is a real zombie too. Is a real zombie too. He's the king of the king of zombies. Wait, no. The Yes, no, let's go with that. Let's go with that. There's a king of zombies, and his king is, is zombie Hildebrand. And what of you, Jack? Were your investigations any more fruitful? Uh, cursed basement royal zombies. Ah, turned into monsters. And what could he mean by this darkness beneath the palace, I wonder? I mean, it doesn't that doesn't take a huge amount of imagination now for now, I gotta be honest. I met an old man in Alagiri who spoke of the palace's subterranean prison, but he said naught of cursed abominations. The Imperial Archives were also silent on the subject. Oh no, the Imperial Archives were also also silent on the subject of fiends inside the palace grounds. Salutations and fathomable stupidity. Where did I buy my suit? You mean the one I'm wearing uh, in game? That is the level 70 red mage uh, class armor. I really, really like it. It's become my kind of default look at the moment when I've got nothing else to wear. Could this be? Could this scribe fellow have been spinning him a yarn? Do you think? Did you believe him, Jack? Uh, uh yeah, he's, he's he he was scared. I mean, he could have been scared of me, I suppose, but. He's, he's, he seems scared of the uh, basement zombies. If he was afraid, that does lend credence to the tale. And I'm not sure how that helps us in our search. Do not be so hasty. Ernold's anecdote may very well have told us where the trove is hidden. But ere I share my theory, there is a matter I would clarify. Aronvod, you spoke of light-hearted adventure, but I sense a deeper motive for this expedition. Why are you so intent on finding this treasure? It wasn't all pretense, I swear it, but you're right. My father was in the Imperial Army, a man of Garlean blood. I trust you know what I mean when I say that my Alamegan mother did not welcome my arrival. Ah, okay, yes. <laughs> Alphonse's like, no, I'm 16, explain it to me. As I grew, she would check my brow over and over, convinced that a spot on my skin was an emerging third eye. Oh, the kind you see in pure blood guardians. Mother well, did not care for this taunting reminder of my heritage and took up a took up a knife. War paint serves to cover the scar. Ah, oh, we're learning Arnold's tragic backstory, which again, I mean, it either means he's going to betray us at any moment or die. Those are the only two options you have, Arnold. I haven't seen... You don't have a... Tri There's no Aronvold Endwalker Triple Triad card for you, so your fate is unclear. Been so busy in Island Sanctuary, I don't know if my main story quest on your server is caught up. Ah, oh, way, way to rub your Island Sanctuary access in my face. I was still lamenting the fact that I can't access my Island Sanctuary until I finish Endwalker. But... Salutations, Azra. Good to see you. Hope you're fine and dandy. In the end, she turned me out into the street, and I was left to haunt in the alleyways at Alamigo. A feral child who got what he needed through begging, cunning, or worse. I, <laughs> I was tempting to combine the words begging and cunning together, and I just was just sounding out of my head to make sure I wasn't actually going to say something offensive, because <laughs> it just occurred to me that bunning, bunning is f fine. Kegging. Kegging is also fine. Alright, we're good. The, the the joke's ruined, but I'm not cancelled, so that's fine. The best I can say about the years that followed is that I survived, but I hated the animal I'd become. Eventually, I left the city behind me and joined a group of refugees bound for the other side of the wall. It was then that I turned to adventuring, and that road led me to the company of the Scions. Again, I don't remember this. Is this is this going to be like some like thing where we find out we've all had our memories altered? And that Aronvald was always a member of the Scions. Minfilia never mentioned you. I legit, until today, do not remember the ever mentioning that Aronvald was a Scion. This feels like when that guy showed up in Fairy Tale all of a sudden, and then it turns out, and you just expect him to be like, yeah, no, he's always been here. He was just off screen, and then it later turned out, spoilers for Fairy Tale, it's an old manga, an old ish manga, that they, he'd cast a memory mad spell on people to make them think that he was always there. You do see him. Really? Is he just, is, is he one of the like people on the side that you don't actually talk to as part of a mission, but he's there? Because, as far as I'm concerned, he came out of nowhere and is and they've just gone. Yeah, no, he's a scion. He is. Okay. I still suspicious of him. I want that on record. 
I okay, fair enough. I like I do like I do like that they had <laughs> they they had I mean I suppose because he's Alamegan that was why they did the, the, he's relevant for this story. But I was gonna say like they had Hori Boulder, who we knew would love. But when we were still like, uh, Hori's not dead. No, no, Hori's still alive. They have Hori Boulder, and then they 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 decide, I don't know, we'll promote Aronvol to main cast. It's like, what's what about poor Hori and his uh, French wizard friend? I can't remember his name. Uh, Antoine, Quinette. Yeah. I'll tell you this so you understand. I know all too well what poverty and hunger can do to a person. I drew steel on ordinary folk for a measly crust of bread. With Theodoric's gold, I could spare my countrymen the shame of living like that. Thank you, Aronvald, and I apologise. That cannot have been pleasant to recall. But I found it best to be clear in our intentions. Plus, I knew all of that. I, you know, I have access to the Scions uh, administration. I asked Tataru. So, there's a few minor scions that do get a few quests. Oh, okay, I should probably make a note of them then, so I don't accidentally start suspecting them of being uh, another traitor immediately after they show up. Because which is what I've been doing throughout the entirety of Stormblood is be suspicious of Arnvald. Coltonet, thank you. I, it's French wizard. I just thought the buff guy was just a giant, but after seeing your character was the same height and realizing the elf is just small. Oh yeah, Alpha knows a teeny tiny child. He's like, he's 16. We're normal height. My character is 5'10". So he's just average height. There are characters that are much, much bigger than us though. Uh, like there's Rogadins and um, the bear people. Uh, lion people. I can't remember their name, but they're, they're, there's, there, are, there are giant ra races bigger than us. I can't remember if I read that line out, but that's fine. Then I should be glad to say that my theory on the resting uh, resting place of the Mad King's Trove, if you are minded to hear it. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, give me the uh, casting. There you go. Ba -ma 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 -ma. Hrothgar, thank you. They haven't shown... The Hrothgar, because I'm guessing the Hrothgar were from Shadowbringers, because no Hrothgars have... Sh Who are you? No, no Hrothgars have shown up in the storyline yet. And that was the same thing that happened with the... Uh... Oh, wait, no, did the bunnies get introduced in Shadowbringers? I know the bunny boys were from Endwalker. They were in Shadowbringers, okay. Yeah, because you can tell. Because there's, 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 there were no, like, Hrothgar in the... Um, or bunny people. I should know the bunny people's names, but I don't. In the Scions in A Realm Reborn. So it's like, okay, these are the races that got added later, clearly. Biggest humanoid character versus smallest humanoid character would be funny. Well, I mean, they do do that. You you do see some, like, Lala Fels. Well, we'll if we find... I think Pippin and uh, Raoban are, are stomping around somewhere. They, they, they're, they're close on either end of the spectrum. And they're father and son, which is delightful. Actually, it may happen to be better if we first adjourn to a more suitable location. In case a rival treasure hunter overhears our plans, you mean? Good thinking. <laughs> just, this, just this random stranger standing with you just going, no, 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 talk here. Talk here and talk loudly. Please ignore me taking it out of notepad. That was not exactly the reason, but it certainly have added concern. Let us reconvene on the southern edge of Lockseld. Fortunately, I have gone to the uh, trouble of unlocking flying in this area. Oh, so Travis, the other week when uh, I was meant to mention to you, uh, when we when I finished Stormblood after I shut down the stream, I went to uh, unlock. I went to do very quickly go and do the flying quests and unlock the flying. Did all that. Went and did the. Went and, well, I finished fighting the guy who was doing. Had the triple triad, which is what I stopped doing at the end of the stream. Then went and unlocked the flying. And then when I was flying around, I saw you still sitting on a rooftop. I think from after you helped me do the storm, the final mission, and uh, danced at you for a while. But I guess you were AFK. It was. It was a funny sight on my side, though. I should have screenshot it. Forgive me, it was not my intention to draw out proceedings. I simply wish to have the lock inside while I explain things. 
I always find things easier when there's a body of water in front of me. I don't, I don't know why. It's a very peculiar... Um, it just, it's serene, just seeing the water surface. It's nice. Right of the great flood of the sixth Umbro Calamity, the salt lakes you see before you were yet dry ravines. And this, believe it or not, was the site of the ancient city of Scala, which rose and fell during the fifth astral era. Oh yeah, I have been down there and seen like an underwater city because... I had to go down there for one of the quests to unlock flying. So, From what we know of the period, the city was already deserted by the time the waters began to rise. Having been all but destroyed by war, having, having been all but destroyed by war, yet its ruins remain to this day at the bottom of Loch Seld. Jack's the best voice actor. That's very kind of you, Azra. It's not true, but I appreciate that. I'll accept the compliment anyway. I can do a handful of voices, and then I struggle. Especially, at the moment, all the characters on screen are male, which is I fine with. When there's a lot of female characters, they all do kind of blend together. It is my belief that the darkness beneath the palace, mentioned by Theodoric's former scribe, was not a reference to the prison, but to a palace still further below, the ruins of Scala. I further surmise that the Mad King's unfortunate kinsmen were cast down there, not simply out of a desire to punish them, but to discourage exploration. Theodoric wanted to keep the ruins secure. Wait, you're saying they were meant to guard the Mad King's Trove? Precisely. And since we know the court thermitage was involved, we can safely assume that any entrance to this old city would have been magically concealed. Which would explain how a legion of Imperial soldiers and, the, and gods know how many Alamegans never found a trace to the, of the Trove. We, however, have certain advantages which they do not. They, they, they did not enjoy. Jack, would you be so good to swim down to the bottom of the lock and search for an underwater route into the ruins? While you do that, Iron Lord and I will speak out an ensorcelled port will seek out an ensorcelled portal within the palace. I didn't I to be honest, I didn't realise the locks were salt water. How I mean, fair enough I can breathe underwater. How am I seeing? Did when when, I, when the turtle gave me his blessing, did he also like give me one of those beaver eyelids? I'm not explaining that reference. Because <laughs> I think it's funnier not to. Uh, I guess the sunglasses just protect me then. <laughs> Underwater, my bird! They don't really explain how the bird breathes underwater, but here we are. I find it hard to do male voices. I've only been able to do a couple of different ones. I want to train my voice to be able to do more. Yeah, it's just practice, I guess. I mean, I'd probably be able to increase my repertoire if I tried. Yeah, let's just put it down to me not trying. Can you not open your eyes in water IRL? Because I can. I mean, I can in, like, normal water, but if it's salt water, surely the salt gets in your eyes, doesn't it? I'm sure I'll show you that. I mean, I guess... Yeah, no, I mean, you, you, I've seen people open their eyes underwater in, like... As long as it's not, cl like, a, you know, chlorine obviously stings your eyes. I'm sure the salt water stings your eyes, surely. Do I have red hair IRL? Let's say yes. <laughs> Keep the mystery alive. You discover a passage that appears to lead under the palace foundations. Press on and find out where it goes. I forgot, because I was reading chat, I forgot what I clicked on. And I was like, when did I, when did I start reading a book? But I see him at a passage as in an actual passage. I tried it at the beach in the salt water and it didn't sting. Huh. It has been a while since I've been in the ocean. I guess I just, like, I guess I just, like, the thought of salt in my eyes, just, it sounds like it should sting. This is salty salt salt water. Yeah, this is, like, salt, because this whole area is salt-based. All the enemies are salty. All the water's salty. So this, this place would probably be, like, yeah. Is it the Red Sea or the Dead Sea or the Black Sea which is super salty? Hello. 
Come to a warm, a worn stone door, standing temptingly ajar. It would appear that you have found an entrance into the subterranean ruins. Are you banning Verfire? Okay, <laughs> that's fine. I'll just rely on Verholy for a little while. Let me. Uh... <laughs> that was my last ban. I wasn't allowed to. Uh... Oh wait, no, you're playing Ver Fire. Oh man, my man is gonna be all out of balance. I gotta do a dungeon in a second. That's just the normal one, isn't it? Oh I'm gonna be all out of balance. <laughs> Dang it. Jack, it's Alphano. We have reached the prison beneath the palace and found a door concealed by enchantments. Have you what to report? Blah 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 Ah yes, I forgot you're still underwater. And you believe it leads into the ruins. Excellent. Then I propose we proceed to our perspective entry points and look to meet somewhere in the middle. Oh, come on, lads. We might as well make it a race. Victory goes to the first adventurer to find the treasure. Godspeed. The drowned city of Scala now accessible. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is... Okay, you've done, you've done this right before. Oh, hey, Sidranus. Oh, you guess that answers the question of do you want to team up for this one, then? Let's crack on. Your eyes are pretty sensitive, so you definitely can't. I feel like it's been a while since I've been swimming. I definitely can't. I mean, I normally want to go swimming in a swimming pool, and that's chlorinated. And you definitely can't in a chlorinated swimming pool because your eyes go all red. But yeah, I guess thinking about it, it's bit, it has been a while since I've swum underwater at the sea. So. Oh, yeah, I mean, they're talking underwater, so clearly magic. That was very quick, as always. Much appreciated, Citralis. Decided not to be completely cruel and ban th their thunder. I would be in trouble if you banned all of my magic. So, I mean, I do have my red spells, which I never use, but, um, yeah. It just, I'm going to be woefully incompetent during this entire dungeon now, because I can only use half my spells. Oh, is it snow? No, it's salt. Oh, there's a point, actually. I can use my uh, Im Jolton Impact. Um, I guess if I don't, if I can't use Verf... Oh, wait, no, hang on. Ver fires. Oh no, Ver thunder. Oh no, I can use my spells. Okay, I, I forget what my spells are called. I thought for some reason I had in my head that Ver fire was one of my two main spells, but it's not. It's, it's one of my, it's Ver thunder and Ver in the, Ver Okay, Ver fire is not too bad then. I can I can make do without using Ver fire. What are we fight, fighting? Gators? I think we're fighting Gators. I like Gator badges. Yeah, badges. Can you imagine the money they'd make from selling the soul? It, honestly, it probably is an ingredient somewhere. Like Alamegan salt. It's probably used in, like, Moogle omelettes or something. Despite being like a level 80 cook, I actually don't do a lot of cooking. Um, don't don't ask how I managed to get to level 80 without cooking anything. Shenanigans, we'll say. I'm also a very high-leveled fisherman, and I haven't caught any fish in about 100 hours. But see, there's a swamp solo. 
Assault Swallow, which is, uh, you shouldn't do, because, uh, it would make you dehydrated. so far. Might as well use manufacturing immediately because I'll probably come back to time hit the boss. Yeah, I I should probably be better with my like using those oh uh, that's reading chat and not noticing the AOEs. Uh with my using oh no 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 I can't use verifier. Force to have it. I saw it glowing. Uh, I should be really better with that stuff, but I just I use it at the start of boss battles and then forget about it mostly. Yally horse. Is this? It's a county. Oh. I need to snap this. I know this mechanic works. Is that not how that works? I thought I needed to snap that. That's normally how those ones work. Guess not. So if I Oh, do I just need to pull the water, the balls away from... Oh, I see. So I'm not attacking because I'm trying to sort of figure out the, uh, how the, me how the mechanics of that. But I, I, I get it now, I get it now. They, 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 they follow me for a little bit and then they put down an AoE. Understood. that one off. Greed! And greed. So, a level 80 cook. Oh, yeah! You can be a chef, you can be a fisherman, you can be a blacksmith, a carpenter, uh... Five other classes. I think you'd be an alchemist. Oh, wait, I see. People have run away. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I mostly just buy food and then, um, sell it for experience rather than actually cook food for experience because it's way easier. It means I never have any money, but... Well, that's a price I'm willing to pay, apparently. Floaty float and you look like one of those really cool sea slugs that Diagra is based on. Oh, I know the kind you mean. Yeah! I mean, it, some of the enemies in this game are really pretty. Um, when they're not just... When they haven't just taken a real-life animal and just put it in the game and gone, Yeah, there's a tiger. There's a tiger. You know, they come up with there's some really creative... Uh, creative designs in this one. Oh, we're not attacking that one. Oh, I don't think we're attacking any of them. What are we doing? 
I guess we are. Okay. I, I think maybe they wanted to kite them a bit further. But that's fine. We'll fight them here. My mana is completely unbalanced. Slander against tigers. Hey, I'm just, you know, look. They just put a big tiger in and then called it and called it a day. Like that was clearly like three o'clock on a Friday afternoon. They went, look, we need one more monster for Stormblood. They went, ah, oh, put we need two more monsters. Put in a mammoth and put in a tiger. There we go. Should we should we make it a saber tooth tiger? You know, make it at least like keep the theme of it being prehistoric. And it's like, nah. That's too exotic. Also, I love when Satratus replies to me in chat, in the team chat, because the rest of our team are just sat there going, what? Need that one. I can greed that one, and I can greed that one. I think the thing that I needed was a ring, which is oh, I forgot to open the uh, the box of <laughs> the box of equipment that I got from the last mission. That's fine. I I feel like I'm fine though. This is, I'm pretty sure, a level 70 dungeon. So. I feel bad about finding Verify now. Your magic is so uneven. It's just, uh, it's my own fault. I do, it, it shouldn't really affect me. It's just that I'm... I'm talking and not paying attention to the spells I'm using. one. Which is weird because it looks like a giant metal baby. Out of the Okay, so this is uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, online. I think it's the full title. This is part of the... Uh, we're playing the storm, well, post Stormblood. So, just after expansion two, we're in. So, we're quite deep. That was the noise of me get winning a pair of earrings. Oh no, I think I, I think I won a ring. Yes, I got a ring of. I got, wait, that's not the ring I wanted though. Well, I got a ring. I got, we can turn into rabbits. What? Okay, I was not expecting this to happen. All right, we're, we're men again. It's fine. Do my cool. I still got to do my cool red mage backflip, which is 90% of the reason. Well, no, 90% of the reason I play this role is because it's red. But 10% of the reason is that I get to do a cool backflip. Dang it! Stop turning me into a rabbit.
again. That's seventy. That's level seventy-five, baby. What do we get from the? More gear I can't wear, but I can trade in for fun bucks at the uh, grand company I work for. It looks really cool. It is. It, I, I will say it took me. Uh, I got three mood scoot horns. Uh, good. It did take me a few goes to get into this game. Um, I tr I've tried playing it a couple of times before I started playing it last year, and uh, it's really good. There's because the thing is, it, uh, normally my big problem with MMOs is there's a kind of like you have to kind of be dedicated to it enough to keep playing. And I don't necessarily like playing the same game over and over again for very long periods of time. I mean, I've been playing this uh, weekly, pretty much. It works quite well, not necessarily as a stream game. But there's very, very... Unlike some games where there's like, oh no, you have to engage with the raids once you finish the game. I, you, you do have to do them for certain things. So, wait, what happened? How do I... Oh, I've turned into a horror, into a ghost. I see. I was like, "How do I get across this gap?" This is a confusing dungeon. Um. Yeah, like so. so some games, because uh, I, I I played like uh, bah, 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 bah. the old Republic, and there's kind of an expectation that once you finish the storyline of that game, that you join a guild and you do all the raid content, and I just. I just didn't want to. And you don't have to do that with this. You can just... It's, if you don't want to, it's fine. What I want to do is play cards. Which, when I finish the main storyline, is what I'm going to do. Because I really want to collect the uh, all the triple triad cards. I'm gonna become a, I'm gonna become a triple triad master and unlock a giant flying triple triad card. It'd be great. I don't know why we're to I mean it's the magic circle on the floor, but need. Oh, greed. Greed. Now yeah, we've got the same ring twice. Uh I guess I pa I guess I'll pass on it then. But, um you can make other classes red, my ninja is red. Yeah, but your your ninja's a ninja that's red. Mine red mage is a red mage that's red. It's double red. We're red. No, we'll go we'll stick with double red. Hang on, why am I I'm gonna use uh, black magic? I, I I will say using Verholy all the time is is making my magic askew, yes. I realise now why, my, why I was thinking, it's not normal, I, I shouldn't be this bad. I remember that their holy does count. So. Oh, no worries, Azra. Thanks for coming along while you did, and I shall, uh, I wish, I'm sure I'll see you next time. Oh. I'm glad that this is a dungeon I cannot pay attention to. Because uh, I'm, I'm only sort of half paying attention to what I'm doing. Hence why I'm constantly surprised that I've been transformed into various monsters. I'm... Mother, father, I come to you now. Did we kill another child? What happened? Again, I've not been... Oh, these are the royal... Oh, these are the royal zombies. Okay, yeah, we maybe did kill a child then. Great. Excellent. And then there's just a uh, 
What are we fighting? A Throdric Poison Tongue. Or is that his name? I got off I got off all my cool moves. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Keep an eye on his when he turns to shoot me with his uh with his big face beam. X for X-Men. Or like X-Men, as in he's going to kill us. I uh Well, I'm not going to say it whilst we're still partied up, but I do have a question for Zatratus when we finish, because I am curious. It's uh, it's something I've talked about before, how I'm uh, I, I'm still too much of a noob at this game to gauge some certain things, and so I, re I rely on Zatratus just to tell me. I feel like I'm getting better, though. No, 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 so... Okay, I, I guess when the X shows up, it's my... He's raised his tail. Is that like the uh, the scorpion in FF7? I don't think it was. Ow. I was looking at my hot bar. I'm going to notice there's a lot going on here, but I'm not taking a huge amount of damage. So I, I assume that whatever I'm doing is working, and we're okay. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Just lost two-thirds of my health. I have no idea what I'm doing. Please die before I do. I can get one more cool little foray of uh, swordsmanship. Cha cha, cha cha. I finish it with a holy. Yeah. Looks like you need your mouth cleaned out with soap. Because he's got a poison tongue. I don't know that soap has any effect on poison. Ah, uh, don't use soap to treat poison. That's prop dope. That's I. I'm not a doctor. Where is his tail? He's just getting ready to take a dump. I mean, in way in various ways, that is quite dangerous. Then I have a skellic sarala scouting, which I shall greed. Cool. Well, that was fun. 
Um, so Jardis, now that we're on our own, was that tank crap? Or was that just me? Because I seem to get targeted quite a lot there. And I don't know whether it's just that, you know, the enemies in this area were... You know... Just... It was just me. Okay, good. Like I said, I, I honestly don't know. Um, because... Like, whether it's just me... Whether it's just the dungeon, or whether it's the tank not doing their job properly. I legitimately have no way of knowing. But there we go. I know... My verifier ban... I, I, let, you, I let you run for the whole uh, dungeon. Cause mostly because I don't think there's much of Master House combat going to be today. I think it's about, it's about the only bit of combat we have to do. Are you all right? Aye. Aye. Everything is still attached. I didn't die, though, which is more than I can say for most boss fights. I die a lot sometimes. Ah, it seems both our paths led here. Very good. We spent altogether too much time fleeing fiends horrid and numerous. How fared you? I was killing fiends horrid and numerous. You too, yeah. It's it's certainly a way to get much through the boss same, fights. Then. Twould appear this place is yet inhabited by King Theodoric's kin, or what is left of them. The work of terrible magics, I fear. Terrible, aye. But their misfortune is our... fortune? Quite. By the twelve, there is even more than I imagined. How are we going to get this out of here? I mean, my inventory is pretty big. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on Lisa's face. Thanks for believing in me, you two. We can leave the big scary painting down here, though. That's okay. I'm guessing that's Theodoric, with his, with his big purple hair. Let's switch over to chat. Some enemies target random players, also a few of them had no prediction lines on their AOEs. Cool. Like I said, I, I, it's, it's, yeah, I just, especially the first time through a dungeon, I just don't know whether it's just the, the, the tank not drawing aggro properly, but that's good to know. Okay. That's why I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to ask during the mission in case you're like, oh yeah, no, they were crap. This is a terrible tank. And the tank just goes, hey. Anavold and I forged ahead at the fastest pace we could manage, but I was not surprised to find you waiting for us. I suppose it serves us right for challenging the Warrior of Light. Next time, we should agree on some manner of handicap. Aight, we may have lost Alpha Note, but think of what we found. Right, I'm still reeling at the sight of that mountain of riches. Yeah, a mountain of riches, and I bet I'm going to get like 10,000, I'm going to get like 1,000 gold for this mission. Like, then, uh, like, where's my share? Like, I get, okay, yeah, I get, we've got a country to rebuild. They probably need the money. But I, I, I'm so poor. What? What, like how you reeled at the sight of that float inspector, you mean? You should have heard him scream, Jack. Ah, Alpha knows afraid of ghosts. M must we dwell on such mon momentary lapses? We found the Mad King's Trove, and that is all that matters. Yep, 4,000 gold. Guys, pay me properly. This is, at this point, the only thing it would take for the Garlicans to, to get the Warrior of Light to recruit them is just a better employment. Like, we'll, just, we'll pay you twice, three times what the Scions are paying you. Plus, we'll give you a house. That's all it would take. And then the Warrior of Light would be like, that's just quite, it's got a bit, bit, quite a good benefit package, actually. Um, I don't even get dental. I have, I have to pay for it. I have to pay real money every time I want to try and fix my teeth. Tank did not lose aggro a single time. He was good. Okay, good. Good to know. I'm learning. In theory. All jesting aside, we must tell people the good news. I think Leash should be the first. Seconded, there is to be a meeting of representatives from across Alamigo, so she is sure to be in the city. Shall we seek her out? I guess then.
I'm not guessing. I, I, I was like, I'm guessing she's over here somewhere. It's like I'm following a marker on my on my map. I know she's over here. We have an awkward situation where the surviving member of uh, Theodoric's royal family shows up and goes, "Actually, yeah, that treasure's mine." And just, can you just stab him just this, the, conveniently? This is very inconvenient that he showed up at this point. Oh. You three look pleased with yourselves. What have you been up to? I'm glad you asked, Lise. I'm pretty sure you're going to like the answer. That specific dungeon has a lot of enemies who use AoE without any prediction lines. You have to predict based on body language. Ah, okay. I did learn that when the guy points at you and opens his mouth, he was going to shoot a face beam. I dodged it once and <laughs> took it face on the second time because I was looking at my bar. But I did get that from your, from your tip. So... Getting hit is normal. Okay, cool. I know for that dungeon, if I ever do it again. Um, I don't know that there's any reason for me to do that dungeon again, but maybe there's a triple triad card locked behind it. You're joking. The Mad King's Trove. I thought it was a myth. So did many. Pe so did plenty of people, but they didn't have Jack and Alphano in their party. The credit for finding it should really go to them. That's what to do with it all. I vote it goes towards the alleviating the suffering of Alamigo's poor. Gods. If there's as much as you say. Arenvold did not exaggerate, I assure you. We could not hope to carry even a fraction of it out on our own. I have taken the liberty of sketching out a rough map of the ruins. If you will assemble a squad of your most trusted freedom fighters, they should be able to follow the route to where the treasure lies. Understood. I'll make sure every coin is counted for, and that goes for the spending of it as well. Thank you. Oh, there's one other thing. When the time comes to drop a plan for distributing the spoils, I'll ask you to consult Alphano. I don't have a head for details. I'm not educated. I see that simple. I see that simple. I see that simply handing out sacks of gear won't solve everything. But I couldn't rightly tell you what to do instead. Oh, I know the feeling. I'd welcome any advice you could give us, Alphano. Of course, I shall be at your disposal. This is surely a job for Tartaru. This sounds like administration. Commander, we've got a problem. Deep breaths, tell me what happened. A mob's gathered outside headquarters and they've started making demands. You'd best come and see for yourself. Oh. You'd think they'd be happy that we'd won the war and they're just making demands already. Step back, all of you! The armor set from that dungeon is really cool looking. A lot of people farm it. I'll take, I'll take, take a look. I, my, 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 we will. We know who you've got in there. You may have noticed by now that my sense of what is cool looking doesn't necessarily match with what other people think is cool looking. Because I looked at the raid armor that got announced for Endwalker and went, oh, I don't want it. We're not leaving till you hand are over. We want to make the drunkard gossip girl deal with billions of dollars. Tartaru's main power is that she can do administration, and this sounds like administration. She can do finance, you know? Bring her out! Bring her out! The alcohol only makes her stronger. Just like everyone in administration. What's going on? Oh, do they want to kill uh, the lady? Someone let slip about the uh, Four dollar, there we go. It's true then. The bitch really is in there. I knew it. I bloody knew it. We demand vengeance. Bring her out. Today we butcher the butcher. Butcher the... Come on, you don't mean that. We'd be no better than the Imperials if you'd all just calm down. No, no, no. In fact, the Imperials don't... The, the Imperials in, uh, experimented on their prisoners. We'd actually be much better than the Imperials if we just executed them. Seriously. That's, that's, that's fine. And her thrice damned skulls dragged my man from our home and beat him to death in the street! Aye, and my dad, that bitch has spilt enough blood to fill a lock! The Sion's current base of operations is in a wine cellar, she'll fill it back up. And as far as I'm concerned, that's a fantastic use of armor of, of the Alamegan money. Her crimes. She's a traitor and a murderer. How many of your resistance friends have died at her hands, eh? And here you are, protecting her! Look, 
Imagine how much less violent this mob would be if they were all drunk. Clearly, this is the situ alcohol is what this situation needs. So that's what all the fuss is about. Hearken to me, brothers and sisters of Alamigo. Hey, who's this? I mean, who is this? That's the bull of Alamigo. <laughs> He's one of the most My distinctly friends, dressed people in the series. You are not alone in your anger. He has your a giant grief, metal bull on his shoulder. Sometimes, mine as well. sometimes he wears a giant bull hat. That gnawing pain in your breast. It is enough to bring an old bull to his knees. But I ask you, brothers and sisters, to think not only of the family and friends who are cut down before your very eyes, but to think also of the ones who were abducted, the ones who may yet live. Where were they taken? What became of them? These questions demand answers. I share your thirst for justice, for vengeance. But we will gain only fleeting satisfaction if we give in to our base appetites. We will never know the truth. Now is the time that we, the people of Alamigo, must decide what manner of nation we will build for ourselves and for generations yet unborn. I don't know what tone we're setting here when this crowd of people are clamoring for blood and our way to calm them down is don't worry we're torturing her for answers it's fine you can don't, don't she's not sat in there she's not player comfortable at all no 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 currently she's ha she's being dunked over and over into a tub of water i promise you she is she is begging for death killing her would be a mercy at this point you don't want that you don't want that when they look to our example Will they see a people who held fast to their principles? Or one who cast them aside when tried? Oh, Katzel's, <laughs> Katzel's redeemed reverse reverse. Okay, that should be okay. There are worse games and times to redeem that one than this. But I think I can, I can handle five minutes uh, with the controllers upside down. I say to you. It is our responsibility to give these prisoners a fair trial that they might answer to all of Alamigo. The Galleons called us savages, and I'll be damned if we prove them right. So I, I'm guessing this is like setting up Ralban to take over as like the king of Alamigo, or the president, or the uh, director. I know you're right, I do, but I can't. I totally haven't been sick in the dark gaining points just to redeem that. No, it's fair enough. I promise you I am up, I am watching this cutscene. I'll tell you what I'll do, tell you what I'll do, because it's only five minutes and I'm in a cutscene at the moment. I'll, I'll turn the controller upside down after this cutscene and we'll go for five minutes from there. So you actually get five minutes of me actually doing something other than pressing X. So, yeah, so that you get your, your, your petals worth. Well, this is just going to be dialogue as well. But I am now... Hang on. I am now upside down. So it's 11.54. So I'll give you until midnight. My thanks, Ralban. Listening to their anger, I could feel myself being swept away. It is a difficult tide to stem. It was that same rage which brought us to our feet and carried us to victory. But now the war is over, all the unspent fury is being channeled into vengeance. Aye, and it's not just here. We've reports of mobs forming all over. They've been targeting folk known to have cooperated with the Garleans. It starts with insults most often, then someone picks up a stone. Then they get inside a glass house and everything kicks off. Some industrious souls even asked, even thought to seek out the graves of Xenos and his officers. It was grim. Did we bury Xenos? I assumed we just left him in the field of rot. Okay, I guess, I guess someone thought, no, nah, let's not spoil the garden. Let's go and put him in a grave. I want to build a country where everyone, regardless of race or origin, can live side by side in peace. 
And maybe the time isn't right. Maybe people just aren't ready. Yeah, let them discriminate for like a dozen years, get out of their system, and then we'll think, think about it. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. The representatives here, will, will, the representatives will be here and soon, and I'll be damned if I'm going to let give up before I've even begun. Who are these representatives exactly? Oh, village elders, refugee leaders, and the like. It wouldn't be right for us to dictate the nation's future on our own, so we've planned a summit of sorts. We've even invited the Ananta and the Quicken to participate. Ah, oh, yeah! So we got snake ladies. Alamigo stands at a crossroads. And this meeting will decide which path it takes. The matter of four-dollar sentence cannot be suffered to disrupt proceedings. Then let us execute her and be done with it. She asked herself to be put to death. Now go. I already explained why we wouldn't do that. Sending her to the gallows might satisfy people right now. But where would it end? Should we round up everyone who collaborated and everyone who didn't and everyone who didn't resist? There'd be no one left. We'd be no better than the 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 Theodoric and Xenos. Just kill them privately. Like, like get, well, where's, where's Yugiri? She's not doing anything. Let's like, get some of her assassins. And we'll just get them to go around and disappear some of the problems. Begging your pardon, but might I be allowed to speak with Fordola? Only I caught a glimpse of her past, a moment of it anyway, during the fight. She's done terrible things, I Unforgivable things. But in some way, she's a victim of the circumstances in which she was born. And that's something I can understand. Okay, no, I, I do vaguely remember Aronvold saying that he has the Echo as well. Very vaguely when he first showed up. Alright, speak with the prison guard when you're ready, and I'll come and join you. I want to talk to her too. I'll return my, to my other duties then. We've barely begun to investigate the facility where, the, where they gave Fordola her powers. Be fairly warned, friends. She will test you. Don't let your emotions colour your judgement when she does. She walk in, she goes, what year did King Theodoric take the throne? She's like, ah, 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 dang it! I'm not prepared! You've come, you have the commander's permission to enter then. Yeah. Ha, ha, yes. There we go. <laughs> you can trust me, I'm the warrior of light. I don't know what Alphano came along as well. I guess he's just got. I guess he's just bored. Hi! Not the time. Shh. Serious faces, everyone. Serious faces. Look stern and intimidating. Well, well, well. So many visitors. Come to have a good laugh, have you? Or do you mean to put me out of my misery? To finish what you started? It's about bloody time. That's not why we're here, no. Do you remember what I said? How I promised you you'd live long enough to see us win our freedom? Well, I meant it. And not to mock you, either. Yeah, maybe a little mocking. Like, a little just... You're wasting your time. Good thing everyone trusts you so easily. Hopefully you don't happen to have an evil doc a doppelganger or something. <laughs> no! Thank God for that! All of this is pointless! There's no reason to keep me alive, and you know it! I killed your men. I killed my men. And you know what my only regret is? That I didn't kill you when I had the chance! You said, Fordola, you said that like shits and giggles isn't a legitimate reason to do anything. That's, it is! That's a lie and you know it. You think we can't tell what you're trying to do? That we're blind? Yeah, you're a fool, but you're not stupid. You're ruthless. Relentless. 
You'd give up anything and everything to get what you want. And he, 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 he just doesn't say anything else after that. He's like, right, bye. Brothers and sisters, just to piss it all away. I see you, Fedora. I see you for what you are. Oh, hang on. I'm e everyone. I'm echoing. Make sure nothing happens to me. Ah, this is pre-tattoo for Dola. That's how you know it's Hello, a flashback. Fedola. We mustn't be late. The Imperial Viceroy will be attending today's banquet. All right. Father, what's Lord Gaius like? Is he nice? Are you friends? There you go again with all your questions. Lord Gaius is a great and honorable man who looks after all of Alamigo. He's very busy, and if we don't hurry, we'll miss our chance to see him. Huh. That's not the Lord Gaius I know. Then again, I, I, did, we did, I didn't have a huge amount of conversation with him before I killed Filthy him. Tinnet lovers. The little tin head lover doesn't know what she is, eh? A traitor, sweetheart. A backstabbing bitch who gladly betray her kith and kin to gnaw on what few scraps the Imperials deign to toss her. Like your bastard father and whore mother. That's not true! My parents are good people! They've never done anything like that! Oh, but they were quick to help themselves and their bitch spawn, weren't they? You're just as guilty as them. Fedola! <laughs> Traitors! They threw rocks at us in the street, but fortunately, they weren't. They didn't have very good aim, so <laughs> it mostly just missed. Please, you have to do something. My husband and daughter are in danger. Soldiers of the Imperial Army are under no obligation to intervene in the disputes of arms. We're citizens. We have rights. It's all right. It's all right. They don't understand, but they'll see in time. They'll see that this is the only way to survive. Traitors! Traitors! Oh, he's got a big rock. Like guys, I mean, you're, you're standing like three feet away from these from this kid. Just have their fun. They'll be more compliant once they've tied themselves out. Oh, I wonder if that guy's in like a guy. Like later on, he'll show up and be like, "I was there. I could have done something, and I didn't because they because my boss told me not to." Fadola, please. 
You already have citizenship. Why would you want to become a soldier? Oh, gods! What have you done to your face? Forgotten it already, have you? I'm honoring Father's memory. By telling the world that you know better than a common savage. Am I though, Mother? Are any of us? Can't you see? What kind of back just starts Citizen raising his hand and he's like, nothing to uh, no, no. If you're not I think I was hypothetical. Guardian, you're no different from any other savage. So I'll play the part. I'll join the Legion and I'll make them respect me. And when the mob see that, they'll think twice before throwing their stones. Ansfrid, Rudolph, Emlyn. It's time. <laughs> it's nice that you gave these three these three people names. It'll They're all hard. dead. You killed them. Humiliating. They'll try to break us. Send us crawling back to our own kind. But we won't. No matter what. We'll bleed for them. Die for them if we have to. We'll do whatever it takes to be free. Although I think she has actually called them by name before. Because I think while well, she was lamenting the fact that she killed them all. She used their names. You throw it weirdly silent. It's like, well, none of us have voice actors, and this is a voiced cutscene, so. Yeah, she did. I I remember because I I, th I think I commented on the fact that she she listed three people's names, and then she went, and everyone else. And I just I just thought it was funny that she was like, I can only remember three of their names. There's so many of them. Three's enough. So. You mean to play the part one last time, eh? The unrepentant traitor whose death will serve to unite the people. So I, I was, I was having a flashback. Well, what did I miss? Shut up. You had every chance to kill yourself. Fashion a noose from your clothes. Wait for the guards to leave you alone long enough to slip it over your neck. I said shut up! Oh, but then it would have all been for nothing, wouldn't it? Whatever it takes. That's what you said. So, why have we come down here? Is Alnivor just here to badger her? Been in my head, have you? Had a little peek at my past. Yeah, sorry. It's not... I, I don't... I really have zero control over it. It just kicks in. And what? A few stolen memories tell you everything you need to know, do they? Don't you dare patronize me! You don't know a god's damned thing about the life I've led! The bastards that killed him. The bastards that let it happen. My father deserved better! I swore I'd do whatever it took to make them pay! So she's still got her Sharingan. Oh, she's seeing my e she's echoing me now. Where where's the several hours I play I've been me spending triple playing triple triad? You, all that power, all that pain, it's too much, too much for anyone. I can assume, I only assume she's talking about the time I lost Harshafon, and you're right, it was very upsetting for all of us. The things they've done to you, the lies, the betrayal, the endless fighting, Yet there you stand, unbroken. How? 
Why? You <laughs> don't have the option to shrug. You know why. You saw. For those I have lost, for those I can yet save. Because I choose to. Uh, these are all cool. These are all decent lines. But I'll go for you know why, you saw. Damn you. Damn you all. You still have time, Fordola. Think about how you want to spend it. Let's go. <laughs> Seriously, why is Alphano here? Gave us some things to think about. Look, I got a the measure of our reach orchestration role. Yay. Let's have a look and see and weapons. Oh, we'll keep playing for a little while longer. Oh, I got the I got the Roderick Poison Tongue card, so I don't need to do that to, 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 that quest again, as it turns out. Fantastic. Uh... Yeah, Zoni, make some more space. Okay, so only one of those rings is better than what I currently have. Well, I mean, it took my it it took my item level up slightly. Better than better than nothing, I suppose. <laughs> Menfina's earring really is like just overpowered. I I don't think I think it'll be a very long time before I get something that replaces that. Even after level eighty one, and it stops giving me uh, an XP bonus. I don't know what we solved. I don't. Know, I don't know that we solved anything exactly, but we've given Fordola something to think about at least. Oi, right, and I found something new to think about too. I don't know about you, Jack, but the visions come come to me. Ah, the visions only come to me every now and then. From the way the Fordola kept wincing, though, I get the feeling she's having them almost all the time. That's a lot of bad memories to deal with. Ah, oh, she's echoing all. She's echoing all the time. You could almost say that she's in some kind of echo chamber because of the room that she's locked in. Hmm, I wonder, could there be some fundamental difference between one who was born with the Echo and one who has been artificially imbued with it? Yeah, probably, you can't for know. I mean, my eye doesn't go all, like, weird when I use the Echo for a start. I mean, I've got my sunglasses on, so you wouldn't know, but I promise you it doesn't. Well, the immortal flames have been scouring that the research facility ever since the Liberation. There's a chance they might have some answers for us. General Aldwin's over there, and overseeing the investigation. Let's go and pay him a visit, shall we? Ah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was further away from where we were. To the sky. You can't see your own eye. You wouldn't know. The cutscenes are in third person, and I wasn't wearing sunglasses. At the start of the game, there was a very brief uncool period where I was, I was wearing, you could see my old, old man eyes. General Arden is inside. Aye, you will be joining him. Yeah. Oh. 
This is just here, is it? Okay. Oh, Rauban, what a little, what a tiny little table they've given you. It's like, I know. I tried to bring my big table here and they said no. What news? You spoke with four dollar, I take it. Yes, I suspect if she did not say very much, but it, was to it wasn't it was a total waste of time. Arenvald noticed something about her. He thinks she might be having visions almost constantly, which is not how the Echo normally works. Have you found anything here which might explain why it's so different for her? Hmm. We've been hard-pressed just to organise research materials, let alone study them. To be frank, I'd welcome the science expert assistance if you have time to lend a hand. Yeah, uh, no problem. I'll send Orange... I'll send Orianger uh, right over. <laughs> me, me and Lisa Muscleheads. There's no way we're going to be any use. God damn it, stop falling off. I mean, I can't even walk over to the machine. I've got so much brain damage, I can't walk in a straight line. The device in which cry was held seems even more ominous now you know its purpose. The surrounding pods are marked supply subject, or the one bears the label master subject. The Ironworks received a request from the Alliance to analyze these devices, and I've been recording everything of interest. Did you notice the labeling? All the pods are designed to drain the ether of the occupant. Save that one right there. Unlike the others, the interior has been filled with an array of sensors to measure etheric waveforms. To what purpose, however, I couldn't tell you. I heard all of that from someone else. I didn't think of that. I'm just... I'm just an intern. So many bodies. Every one of them a victim of these experiments. Few show signs of any... of external injury. From what we've been able to determine, they would perish from forcible ether extraction. Such a miserable way to die. Okay. I don't feel like we learned anything new there. I know a little less of science. I know, little, I know a little less of science. So any light you can shed on this facility's operations, we much appreciate it. Jack, shall we start with you? Yeah. They pulled the ether out and stuck it in someone else. And then until they died, basically. Like ether batteries. Taken in combination with the testimonies from Cryol and Thancred, I do begin to see exactly what the Imperials were attempting here. The enhanced procedure entailed infusing a single candidate with ether, siphoned from a multitude of supply subjects. As for the master subject, in this case Cryle, the patterns of her etheric activity would, pro would provide the model upon which they could artificially engineer the candidate's aura. Oh, okay, so they stole the ether from loads of other people, and then kind of used it to trace Cryle into a Garlean. In other words, they were trying to recreate Cryle's echo. I believe so, which would explain our prisoner's present state. Kral is possessed of an unrivaled ability to hear the whispers of the soul, and it seems probable that the procedure engendered the same acute sensitivity in Fordola. The soldiers who guard Fordola, many of them lost friends and family to the skulls. And there's a sentry at her door, night and day. She can't help sensing their thoughts and seeing their past. So after a while, though, the echo is like... Once it gets rid of all the gets through all the sort of traumatic memories and all the angry memories, it just starts going into like the really like deep cut, embarrassing memories. Like you know, the time the guard accidentally waved at someone and then realised that the person was waving at the guy behind him, and he was like, "Oh God, oh I've looked like a fool now." And she just sat in bed, just going, "I don't need to know these ones." I mean, I guess they're slightly less traumatic, but it's still, she just, just sits there cringing. You don't know. You don't just see their past. You live it. All the emotions, all the pain, all the cringe. Imagine what it'd do to you. You'd never be the same again. Indeed, as you may recall, Isaiah was completely transformed by a single glimpse of Helsvalga's past. Fordola has been forced to experience the agony of those whose lives she destroyed. The guilt must be unbearable. That explains the request to be executed. Sounds to me like a kind of justice. Regardless, she can suffer on for now. We have more pressing matters to consider. The results of these experiments have been relayed back to Garlemald. They will be naught to stop the Empire from repeating the trick. They could give the Echo to anyone, to an entire legion. 
Once we're ready, we must learn all we can with these gods forsaken for sieges, and Fedora remains our best source of information. She'll not be getting her wish. Not yet. Right. Keep faith, lass. If you're to convince others to follow you, you must believe what you're telling them. People will respond to passion, but not if it's feigned. I understand. Thank you, General. We should leave the flames to it. Let's go. I like this little post-Stormblood team we've assembled. The four of us and Tiny Gosetsu. He, he counts. He's part of the team. The others don't acknowledge him. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that they can actually see my minions. They may, the minions may just be a figment of the Warrior of Light's imagination, honestly. But he's there. He's real. I promise. Ah, I go looking for answers about the Echo and end up getting schooled by Raoban. Yeah, more evidence that I don't know what I'm doing. It's no wonder people listen to him and not me. General Alden is a veteran of countless campaigns, Lise. You cannot compare yourself to a commander of his experience. <sighs> All this talking. I know, but I also know that I couldn't have convinced the mob to give up and go home. It makes me realise how much we rely on his authority and how much I still have to learn. I wonder what he'll do when everything here is settled. I mean, it's his homeland. After going to the trouble of winning it back, might he not want to stay? It is a quandary which countless refugees now face. To continue the life they built in Ulda, or start again in the land of their birth. Jack, a moment! I am newly returned from Ulda with a message from the Sultana. Her Grace desires an audience with you. She understands that you have... Oh, the last time that happened, it went badly. Are you sure? She understands that you have her responsibilities here, but asks that you visit the palace at your earliest convenience. Well, I must away and attend to other business. Until next time, my friends. You know, I have a link, Pearl. You could have just phoned. But it's nice to see you, Pippin. And your, your giant dagger sword. An audience with the Sultana. Depending on the nature of her consultation, this might be the perfect opportunity to inquire about the General's, fu general's future plans. Yeah, we'd like to know more about oh, to know about those, Alphano. But not everyone is as comfortable as interrogating royalty as you. Take no notice of him, Jack. Oh, it's all right. Me, me and Nanamo, we're like, we're we're we're, bit, we're close friends. So I was, like, I was there that time she got poisoned, to to kind of fake death. I can ask her about her boyfriend. It's fine. Since like a third of the minions are given to us by the NPCs, I just assume they can see them. You're right, actually. Some of them are like specifically given to us as like, hey, I made this thing. Here you go. And it's like, well, that's weird that you made this thing, but thanks. I do remember at the Easter event making a joke about how the, uh, the real thing that they had given me a wind-up uh, minion of was horrified at the fact that we had created an imposter right in front of it. But yes, you're right. Still, it's nice to imagine that the tiny Gosetsu that's following me around is just... No one else can see it. And it's just like a visual representation of my guilt for letting Gosetsu die. Quote, unquote. Well, the question of how how to put the Mad King's treasures to good use shows no sign of answering itself. Shall we be about it, Arendvold? Are you at your beck and call? Well, I should be getting back to my own tasks. I'll organise a squad to head down to the ruins and then start preparing for the big meeting. Oh, send Nanamo my regards, Jack. Nod. Why did it nod? Oh, now, now I don't know if I'm going to do it. And ask too, if you please. We shall see you on your return. I didn't nod. Alright. Twilda! It's been a while. It's, um. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been Twilda. I haven't needed to come here for anything.
And I need to see Nanamo. One of my, my favourite Lalafell, other than all of the other Lalafells that I like. Kryle, Nanamo, Tataru, Papa Limo. I just like Lalafells. I think I just like Lalafells. Hey, Nanamo. No tea this time. I thank you for answering my summons in these most interesting times. You have been busy. The liberation of Alamigo will have far-reaching consequences, and there is a matter upon which I would seek your counsel. I speak of Rauban and his future. Yes, he's been... He's been spending a lot of time away recently, and I'm I'm worried he's seeing someone else. It's like, oh, it's that kind of talk, is it? Okay, I'll go and check on Ralban. I don't think he is. All know the tale of his rise from penniless refugee to member of the Syndicate and General of the Immortal Flames. Yet though he has come to call Uldar home, it will never be his homeland. He is a son of Alamigo. And now that she is free, I thought it only a matter of time before he sought my leave to return to her. Indeed, I had resigned myself to his loss. What? Suffice it to say, I was greatly surprised to hear him speak so lightly of handing over the reins in Alamigo and retaking his place at my side. Isn't... Why are you going to stop being royalty? I mean, I guess being poisoned and then coming back to life maybe put a halt in that plan, a halt in those plans. I think she did say that, but it's been a while. Why don't you just quit being royalty and go and live in uh, Alamigo with Ralban? Pretty sure Ralban is old enough to be her grandpa. So we live in a world in t where, like. Everyone has, like, wildly fluctuating lifespans. Hey, you can't worry about things like that. Lalafell, you... Wait, no. Do Lalafells live for a really long time or a really short time? I can't remember. Nanamo might be, like, really... It might be the same age, but she's just... Looks good. I will welcome him with open arms, of course. He is my most trusted advisor and my dearest friend. She might be... In fact, she might be so old that Rauban would be her boy toy. Long. Exactly. So, like, she could be way older than Rauban. But I have known the man a long time, and beneath that steely gaze, I spied a flicker of doubt. Whether Rauban chooses to remain in Uldar or return to Alamigo, I only wish that he do so with a heart unburdened by guilt or regret. Yet, how can he freely make such a choice, knowing how much I depend on him? It is past time that I learned to discharge my duties as a Sultana alone. I must go forth and see my realm with my own eyes, and hear the wind with my own ears. Might I have your company for a brief adventure? Hang on. Then I was like, I must stop relying on Raoban. Can I rely on you instead? It's like, oh, hang on. I, I have to, I got like primals to kill. Yay, I got to go on a date with Nanamo. Wonderful. Already this post DLC is proving, it, yeah, me a moment proving to better than the, than the main Stormblood campaign. And I will join you outside. Oh, and we get to see plain clothes Nanamo. Lalafells are basically potato elf fairies. That's a pretty good summation of them, yes. That's what I mean. Raoban's just a, a, is a, a rogue den, and I think they live they live about the same amount of time as yours do. And the point is, we don't know how old they are in relation to each other, and uh, they make an adorable couple, so. That's the only thing that matters. I ship them. There we go. 
Is it outside the quicksand? Is that not here? Yes, it is. Oh, it's on the... I was looking for the quest mark and it was on the teleporter. Oh, let's look at Nanamo's... Oh, she's adorable. I mean, honestly, I, she's, she hasn't changed. She's just changed. She's just taken off her crown and put on a head wrap. I feel like she could have dressed up a bit more indiscreet, you know, a bit more discreetly than that, but whatever. What do you think of Lyra, La Lyra the Merchant's Daughter? This is the disguise I don when I wish to leave the palace and observe my subjects unnoticed. Ordinarily, Papa Shan would accompany, but for this particular outing, I need an advisor, not a minder. And that is why I requested your company. Over the course of your many adventures, you have met people from all walks of life in every corner of Eorzea, and I would make use of your worldly experience. Now let us be on our way. Our first destination is Stone's Throw, just beyond the gates of Nald. I get it. It's just a stone's throw away. Onward into the desert, then. We don't know how old they are. When Nano was like six, she met Ralban, a Grizzled Colosseum veteran. Yeah, but like six, it's like, it'd be like dog years. That's like six in that Lalafal years. She's like 70. Uh, she was, she was, she was seven. She was six in Potato Fairy. Look, don't, don't ruin this for me. It's the only, it's the only pair of this entire goddamn franchise that I actually like. That's not why. That's not true. They just, there aren't that many rom romantic couples in Forever Fourteen. They're all kind of <laughs> just focused on the adventure, I suppose. But uh, <laughs> still, don't ruin this for me. Look upon this procession of tattered tents. These refugees camp in squalor, at the mercy of the elements and Thanalan's predators both. The city's might the city's mighty walls offer safety, but the streets overflow with people as it is, and unless blessed by the hands of Nerald himself, no refugee could ever hope to afford a dwelling in Ildar. Twenty years have passed since the fall of Alamigo, and five since the calamity, yet the plight of the poor has grown more desperate, not less. As Sultana, the blame falls upon me. You've done your best, Your Grace. Your hands have been tied, Your Grace. Uh, let's say your hands have been tied. I don't know that Nanamo has actually done her best. Yes, my authority is limited, and that is an obstacle I must work to overcome. Shall we press on? I would wallow. I would follow the road to. <laughs> I would wallow in misery. I would follow the road to the unholy air. Is that a pub? It feels like a pub. Man, she... She moves fast for a Lalafal. You wouldn't think she'd be able to get this far away this quickly with, with her little waddle. Here in this wholly unremarkable place, and my mother and father met their doom. This <laughs> is like this is like the the Batman and Turtle comic art where where Batman takes Raphael to Crime Alley. Yes, exactly like that. I was but a child at the time. My parents were returning from an inspection of our interests in Eastern Thanalan when an untimely rock slide crushed their carriage. To this day, it is not certain if the incident was simple misfortune or an expertly planned assassination. Raven once offered to reopen the investigation and bring me the truth he, he assumed I must surely crave, but I refused. If my parents' deaths were orchestrated by the monetarists, we could only have brought their hirelings to justice. The true villains, those who plotted to put me on the throne as a biddable puppet, were ever beyond our reach. Thus did I plan to strip the merchants of their power and place our nation in the hands of the citizens, quite unaware of the consequences my actions would have for you and yours. I shudder to think now how many goodly souls paid the price for my naivety. But I am no longer a child reciting words with witless obedience, and I will not be used as a pawn in the monetarist's damnable games. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. You are one of the few people to whom I can feel I can speak my mind. You're such a good listener, too. Come, let us return to Uldar and visit the Colosseum. I wish to see some blood sports. It's like, okay. It's the only time I'm ever truly happy.
It's even more sad than the pub. You'll understand the name soon. What was it? <laughs> I'll be honest, I made the joke and I forgot what it was called because I was paying attention to Nanamo. Is it called that because that's where her... What was it called? <laughs> This is, this is how quickly my brain moves on to, moves on to something else. Uh, wait, hang on, what's the... It was the... Where was it? Oh, it was the unholy air, wasn't it? So is that named after Nanamo then? Is that like some sort of just like cuss on Nanamo that she sucks? Yeah. From the moment I became Sultana, I found myself thrust into an endless parade of document signing and ceremonies. For years, I simply signed where I was told to sign and sat where I was told to sit. Blissfully oblivious to what any of it meant. Yet one good thing did come from that ignominious, chap ignominious chapter of my life, for it was during an official visit to the Colosseum that I first met Rauban. The match I had been invited to, to attend was not all what I expected. They had pitted the Bull of Alamigo against some dozen or so rival gladiators. Blinkered though I was, I would not stand so for so obvious an injustice, and demanded to see a fair fight, one man against another, and my royal wish was duly granted. It was not until later that I learned of the gambling ring which had arranged for Rauban to die on the sands that day. Regardless, my intervention meant that Rauban had but a single opponent dispatch, which he duly did, and when he knelt before me to receive the winner's purse, he swore that he would one day offer me his blade in, his, in service. Surrounded as I was by lies and manipulators, I confess I dismissed it as a pleasant piece of theatre. But as you know, Rauban is a man of his word. Though it took him another five years of fighting on the blood sands, he amassed a fortune so great as to not only buy his freedom, but a seat on the syndicate. And then I had my blade. Ah, Rauban's awesome. I mean, I knew that already, but it's just like every story I hear about Raoban, it's just like, hey, do you want to hear more cool stuff about Raoban? It's like, yeah, I do. Do you know why he's called the Bull of Alamigo? He, ki he, he, he killed and ate six bulls with his band. He's got both arms. That's how you know it's a flashback. Repost. <sighs> See, if this is the first time she met him, he hasn't aged a whole lot. He still looks as old as he did there, as he did. How long ago did she meet him? I know it was five years after she first met him that he you became. Must, you mustn't. The danger is too great. Please, your grace, come back. I beg of you. <laughs> oh, none of us great. You're the one who needs looking after, Master Shell. <laughs> Your Grace, I have kept the promise made. So you have, and in turn, so too shall I keep mine. With your winnings, you have become one of the six most wealthy souls in all Ulda. And so, as tradition dictates, Rauben Aldin, you have earned yourself a seat on the Syndicate. May your new station garner you still greater glories. I am honored, Your Grace, and vow to serve with every fiber of my <laughs> being from this day till my last. That scene was hilarious. Young... Nanamo is adorable anyway, but young Nanamo is even more adorable. Long live the Sultana, and long live Ulda! But, I mean, you say she's six years old in that scene. She just does not look that much younger. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. I, I just googled the age because I was uh, I was curious. Well, no, that was five years after they met. You're right. That wasn't when they first met. Um, Nanamo is apparently 21 or 22, and Raoban is 44. So he's old, he's not old enough to be a granddad. He's old enough to be a dad. But I feel like you know an age gap of 22 years isn't that terrible. It's it's worse than I thought. But you know it's. You know, when he's when he's eighty, she'll be fifty-eight. That's how time works. It's fine. It's fine. Words cannot well express what that man means to me. There are others who care deeply for my well-being, of course. Papa Shan's love for me is that of the grandsire for his grandchild. But upon matters of governance, I cannot turn to bodyguards and maidservants for counsel. Raoban, with the authority of his syndicate position, was the first sword I could wield. He was the only edge which would cut the strings that bound me. It gets worse the more you think about it. Stop while you can. <laughs> but my ship! My ship. Uh, I'll take the money. I'm eternally poor, so... I don't know what missions am I on. Uh... She just gave me an Allegan silver piece. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I was trying to see if I could finish 4.1 today, but it's... I've still got one, two, three, four, five missions left. And it's 20 minutes to one. I don't want to... I know I started late, which is annoying. I was hoping to do 4.1 today, but we mm, we'll do one more and then we'll stop. We'll do one more. We must make haste. My absence will not go unnoticed by the Sultan's Sworn for long. There are other places I would visit. To the to the Arzaneth Osserari. Like nod. Wait, what? Where? What? Ralban, so why are you calling my link, Pearl? I I I may have lost <laughs> Nanamo. Sorry. Okay, I need to go to the Thermotosia's Guild, uh, which is this way. Oh yeah, there we go, the Osiri. What up? That's when she admits she's a necromancer. Oh, that would be a twist. That's not a class yet. That's that's, that's the class of the next expansion. When the Clarity threatened, Ralban led the Alliance forces into battle on the plains of Cartano, and I remained here. I played with all my heart. I pray, sorry. I play. I, yeah, they were out fighting, and I played with all my heart. And it was so much fun. And then, they, then oh, God, the calamity happened. It was awful. I prayed with all my heart that Archon Lusoir would have the power to rouse the Twelve. Since that day, I have made a custom of visiting this shrine during each of my little excursions. Here I seek the blessing of Thal, reflect upon my choices, and ask myself if I am fulfilling my duties as Sultana. You are rightly celebrated as champion because you have led the line in a hundred battles for the good of yours, yeah? In much the same way, I believe the measure of a monarch lies in how she leads her people in times of adversity. If I am to be Sultana, a Sultana worthy of the name, I cannot turn a blind eye to the trouble facing Uldar. I have chosen my path, Jack. With Alamigo now freed from Imperial chains, I finally see a way to aid the refugees. To send them away. <laughs> Already, many displaced Alamegans seek, Alamegan seek to begin the long trek home. To facilitate that process, I have made a small contribution, an artisan school in Raga's Reach for any who wish to learn new trades. Realistically, however, it will take years for such training to yield tangible benefits, but we do not have years. These people will need shelter and employment if they are to survive, and this time the Uldan Treasury shall provide. Precisely where and how to allocate the necessary funds is, of course, another question. 
Uh, we just found like a massive bunch of treasure. I think I feel like they might be all right. Uh, why not seek the advice of one who employs refugees? A wise suggestion. They have a visit to the gold sorcerers in order. Its proprietor is a member of the syndicate, and he is one of the few who pay refugees a fair wage. Oh, okay, so both answers would have been correct. I wonder, are you acquainted, acquainted with Godbert Mandeville? <laughs> Suddenly get PTSD flashbacks of all the Hildebrand quests. Yes. Nod. You can't see behind the glasses, but there's a thousand yard stare back there. Then I need not explain his eccentric nature. Let us make our way to the landing, and I will see that word is sent to the god saucer. Godbert should be only too glad to receive us. Excellent, I can do my scratch cards while we're there. Why else would she bring you to an ossuary? You're right! Yes! Scratch cards, and then we'll go and talk to uh, Oh, they did that. Uh, hmm. Uh, 360, come on. 10k. Alright, I did 3,600. Second place is good enough. Uh, they did add some new Triple Triad cards as part of uh, Patch 62. But I'm guessing probably not... Well, A, probably not just to the Triple Triad lady. But also, I probably need to wait until I unlock the patch. Yeah, now I've got all those. I'm in a situation where I'm just saving up loads of MGP and I don't really have anything to spend it on. I'll buy a trip. I'll buy the cactar mount if I get too much money. Because of course I will. That is not Nanamo. Nanamo, where are you? I'm looking for the little quest marker on the... You are here, aren't you? Oh, the airship landing. Oh. <laughs> Back to Uldar, then. I get for not reading properly. Like, sorry, I can teleport. So I jumped the gun. Did my scratch cards. I have ridden aboard a public airship before, but this should be my first visit to the Gold Saucer. I must confess to some excitement. Ah, have you not even been for the Chocobo races before? Okay, now I need to go to the Gold Saucer. It's just, just, just one, one step out of... Out of sequence, that's all, that's all. I had heard descriptions of its splendour, yet I never dreamed it would be so bright and inviting. No, no, I couldn't possibly. We did not come here to fritter away the royal coin. God, but what were you expecting? Oh, just, <laughs> honestly, there's you were, there's not an, a single attraction here where you come away with less money than when you went in. I promise you. Unless you're really bad at triple triad, I guess. God, but what were you expecting us? Come, let us head directly to the lounge and ignore these these gaudy temptations. It's like, <gasps> is that a cactuar? A real cactuar? <gasps> No, it's not a cat. It's a man. It's a Lalafell and a cactuar suit costume. She's like, even better. I could dress as a cactuar. They call them sabotenders, milady. Uh, milady. 
Your lordship. Your nanomonessness. I should just teleport over. I don't know why I'm running. Yeah, I'm glad I did one more mission. We get to see uh, Manta Uvo. It's the old god bird. I believe this is where we are to meet Lord Mandeville. Shall we sit while we await his coming? Now, it's 50 50 shot whether he's going to be wearing any clothes. He is. Ah, uh, I can't remember God, but I, does God even have a voice actor? I don't know that he does. My apologies, Your Grace. I have kept you waiting. No apologies are necessary, Godbert. My request was sudden, and you were kind to make yourself available at such short notice. When my son's good friend and the Sultana herself come calling, there is no more important engagement. Uh, I like when the dialogue changes depending on which side quests you've done. It's like, I am a good friend of your son. You're right. Which reminds me, when I finish post-Stormblood, we get to do another Hildebrand quest. As to the purpose of my visit, I would have your thoughts on how the Crown might best aid the refugees residing in Thanalan. You are aware, I am sure, that many of Alamigo's displaced sons and daughters long to return to their newly liberated homeland, and you are also aware of how they will suffer without shelter and work to sustain them. I would use our nation's wealth to spare them the suffering. Spare them that suffering. What advice have you for me on the matter of how it might be best to, best be distributed? The unusual circumstances of our meeting and your grace's choice of companion would suggest to me a desire for an honest and unvarnished opinion. I shall give you one. My advice for you, to you is stop. Taxing Uldar's wealth to save Alamegan refugees is a terrible, terrible idea. You oppose my proposition? Most emphatically. I agree with your grace that the refugees must have housing and employment, but what profit is there for Uldar in this agreement? Arrangement. Profit? After all you've done for Ger Albania's displaced, I thought you were the very last person to seek to benefit from this, their misfortune. Forgive me, Your Grace, but you appear to be labouring under a misapprehension. It is a fine endeavour to support one's fellow man, I fear. However, that your stance is one born of pity. Your intent to save the refu your intent is to save the refugees, is it not? Oh, don't make Nanamo sad. I'm, I might be your brother's, I might be your son's friend, but I'll beat you up. I won't. You're much stronger than I am. You're scarily strong, God, but for all our potential, we are an indolent creatures by nature. If unconditional charity is all we know, then we begin to rely upon it, to expect it. And then we must consider Uldar's own poor and downtrodden. Should they hear of you spending the nation's coin, not to improve their lot, but to nurture the distant citizens of Alamigo, it's unlikely they will applaud your generosity. But with all Dar's poor and downtrodden are the people that we're sending to Alamigo, aren't they? Surely it is not your grace's intention to foster new resentment, but to spread goodwill. Indeed. Then any support I pledge to the refugees must promote self-sufficiency, whilst also serving the interests of the people of Uldar. Exactly so. Such an arrangement will create a far more equitable relationship with the returning Alamigans, even as it generates the revenue required to win the approval of all of your subjects. Hmm. You've given me much to ponder, Lord Mandeville. I thank you for your candor. <laughs> Another word of lights is like, I was also here! I contributed, give me money. And then I was just like, I, I got like 800 gil in my in my pocket. There. Just take it and go. Um. Yeah, okay. We'll stop there. I, I was just want to say, like, it's like one more, but it looks like there's at least two more steps to Nanamo's part of this. And then it goes back to doing some other stuff. So, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll finish off. We'll, we'll continue patch 4-1 next week. I will... attempt to uh, I'm just trying to think what's happening on Friday I it is the la it's annoying because I have the week after off and so there's a good chance that I will be like cramming to get all of my work done on Friday evening so I'm not going to promise that I'll start on time on Friday but I will try 
and start on time on Friday so we can actually make some good progress. Fridays are always dodgy for finishing on finishing work on time. Um, I hopefully shouldn't need to like visit the hospital this week, so at least I'd really hope not. Okay, something's gone terribly wrong if that's the case. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll finish this off. We'll 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 continue we'll continue uh, escorting our favourite potato fairy around and uh, plough on with the post Stormblood patch quests. And honestly, I, I did count them up, and there are as many as there are. It, looking at it, it didn't look like there were that many quests, but counting them, there are forty post Stormblood quests, which I think is consistent with the other uh, with the other expansion. So, I guess it will take us as long as Heavenswood Heavenswood did. So, that's fine. I'm not complaining really. I just. I want to. I really want. I was really looking forward to doing the island sanctuary stuff, and then it was like, oh, you need to be Endwalker. It's like, oh, but why? Do I get given an island as my reward for defeating whoever I have to defeat at the end of Endwalker? I can. That's the only reason I can assume they finally are like, look, we appreciate we haven't paid you for the last 900 hours. Here's an island. Go nuts. Just you own the land. You're a lord now, Lord Dandy. Ah. Oh. Something to look forward to. Uh, but we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Like I said, my my current plan is to try and get on top of Endwalker and the post-Endwalker content in time for Expansion 5. Which I guess will be late next year, I think. I think they're once every two years, aren't they, generally? So, yeah. That should be enough time. I mean, I could always, you know bump up the amount of times I play it if I need if I if I'm cutting it close. But it'd just be nice to enjoy an expansion as it comes out. Um, as opposed to several years after the fact. Uh, um, yeah. Anyway, we'll stop there. Uh, next stream's gonna be tomorrow. I'm gonna start about one o'clock. Uh, we're playing the Splatoon 3 demo. Uh, and uh, it runs from nine until nine. And the first six hours are phase one and the second six hours a phase two of the Splatfest. Um, just explaining the the logic behind starting at one. If I start at one and play for four hours, I get about two hours of each phase. And uh, that sounds like a good plan. I've never played Splatoon before, so I'm excited to learn and see, <laughs> importantly, whether I enjoy the game. So that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, it's a, Splat it's a Splatfest to determine which is the best it's rock, paper, or scissors. Scissors, I, I I learned something I didn't know, is that your hair colour is determined by which team you're on. And so it means I always have to choose red team in order to get the red pompadour in Splatoon. So I'm team scissors. Uh, I don't necessarily disagree with that decision. So I think scissors are the strongest. And I get to be on big man's team, who's the big fish. Stingray, that's the word. I think he's the big Stingray guy, so I'm okay with that. But there might come a time where I have to choose a decision that I don't like in order to stay red. But that'll be a problem for a different day. Anyway, so 1 o'clock tomorrow, which is about 12 hours from now, playing Splatoon. So if I see you then, I will see you then. Otherwise, I will see you when I see you. Uh, that's Final Fantasy XIV. I'm going to go and sleep. I'm really tired. So thanks for watching. Um, Dandy. Good night.